Hello people, welcome back here to the channel Sta Paulo Azul and Super Académico and today we are going to keep reading my book Phenomena. Today we're going to read the chapter 4. So before we begin don't forget to subscribe to both channels, give likes subs and, and comments, give likes, subscribe, comments, share and that that's it. That's it. Please go and make our channels grow. Chapter 4 of the book Phenomena I still had about a mile and one half before I got there just for you to remember uh, uh, Joseph was going to the cemetery where uh, his brother were uh, buried was, was buried his brother was buried his brother yet even from far I managed to see the green and yellow carpeting of Owell's Owls, Owls Park. It was the veterans graveyard that buried soldiers ever since the revolution. However, it seemed that only now it got crowded by deceased American Vietnam War veterans, including my brother. I parked my car as far as my eyesight could reach. I was able to see those small white crosses, many of which had no names written of them, on them. Nonetheless, they were all filled with pride and honor. I walked through those crosses, stepping on that green grass that was shining under the sun. There were not so many people there on that day. But there always someone there. It was like the law of proportion law. There were as many people killed as there were people to mourn over their deaths. I decided to take off my shoes to feel the grass under my feet. I walked slowly till I got to my brother's grave. Ever since his funeral, I hadn't been there as often because I knew he was all, uh, always around, yet at that place I could count on certain... Ever since his funeral I hadn't been there as often because I knew he was always around, yet at that place I could count on certain peacefuls, peacefulness in order to think about him. Hi Donnie, I got accepted into Harvard. The family tradition was kept, but I do believe you already knew that. I went on and on for about five minutes, talking to myself like a lonely fool. I thanked him around twenty times for having opened the eyes, the ways as to where I should head in my life. I told, I told we were being massacred massacre in Vietnamese communists. I told him that I wouldn't be happening that wouldn't be happening if he were still there. I told him about Anne's uh, wedding again about Anne's wedding again. It wouldn't be ne next summer it would be next summer when Wayne would be settled down as a lawyer and she would be closer to graduation and I explained for the tenth time more to myself than to him that what made him pop up on the TV screen two years ago was a physical reaction suffered by those who die away from their loved ones us he I mean his conscious spirit had the need to express his lo longing for someone to whom he felt so close, in that case me. The books I read didn't explain why he chose me instead of any other member of the family. There were a lot of religious references as well as a few science, scientific ones, but it seems that I was the only one that was capable of being reached by him at the point at that point. 
and in regards to that having happened via the TV, there are writings on electric forces generated by extra dimensional spectra. But that too is pure theory. Pure theory. Thus, as I was going through that quiet and tranquil self collective process, I heard someone, somebody scream out loud. I turned around and I saw nobody. Then I heard yet another scream. That one closer than the one before. Again, I didn't see anybody. Suddenly, many screams began to come into my ears all at the same time. They were sad, sometimes sharp, and other times bass. The melancholy of the scream started to affect me and make me feel sad. I was not going to put up with that for much longer. I picked up my shoes and as I glanced at Donna's grave and said goodbye. I began to walk back to the car. However, this time around, the road seemed longer than on the way in. The sorrow screams revealed, traveled in sound waves, as if I was watching a live Celtics game in the stadium. The difference is that these screams were very sad. By the time I got to my car, I was breathless. The screams were vanishing, but I could still hear them. I put on my shoes and leaned against the car for a few minutes, in order to rest a little bit. At last, the scream ceased and left me with the same feeling. I felt when I saw my brother waving at me on the screen, on the TV screen. I had just lived through another paranormal, yet these ones had been too violent for my mind because I had to share so much unhappiness with so many miserable souls. I realized today that those disincarnated spirits use their voices to reach out for somebody who could listen them, to them, listen to them. There were lives lost in time due to un unexpected sudden death, which happens a lot during, which happens a lot during. They needed, as my brother did, to say goodbye to the world of the living in a softer way. Unfortunately, there were too many sad souls for an 18 years old boy to handle. I spent the rest of the week very sad and lonely. I only told my sister about what happened, yet my interest in parapsychology only grew after that, and now I had to support. The support. I had the support of the academic world to back me up so I could study and help this unknown world which actually is inside of is inside all of us all of us all of us that's the end of the chapter 4 I hope you enjoyed this reading and we'll see in the next cap chapter for the continue of the reading don't forget to subscribe like the channel don't forget to like the video subscribe to the channel give the like and comment and share the video. Bye bye.